What's happening, Colts Nation? Hope you guys are having a great day. What we have here is an update on some roster moves, some pretty important roster moves for what we're doing, right? If you watched the game on Saturday, you know special teams was a bit of an issue. Turns out there's a good reason that that was the case, right? We've talked about on this channel before. Tony Brown, if he's on the field for defense, we're in trouble. Like, we knew that coming in. He got on the field in the Saints game. And it went terribly wrong. But when he's on the field for special teams, he's one of our best guys for special teams. And he wasn't on the field on Saturday. And it made a difference in what the special teams units were able to do. So the moves coming out of today is, first of all, a couple of players being suspended for the rest of the regular season. Three-game suspension for Isaiah McKenzie. Three-game suspension for Tony Brown. And the reason for this is conduct detrimental to the team. And right now, there's no indication of what they could have possibly done that got them to a place where they're suspended for conduct detrimental to the team. So I'm just thinking, you know, maybe there was a fight at practice, right? You're talking a wide receiver and a cornerback and Isaiah McKenzie's with the second team. So maybe there's a chance that these two were going at it or it could have been special teams, right? Returner and a gunner. It like, could be any number of things. That's what I'm thinking it is, is these guys got in like a, a really bad fight and we're really getting into it. Maybe it was something that carried into the locker room and they threw real blows at each other. I don't know what it could have been. You know, maybe it was something, you know, they just got got in trouble when they were away from the facility, but they were hanging out and got in trouble. Like it, it could be a number of things, uh, but to get suspended for three games, like it has to be something serious. This isn't something that just happens because right. Like Isaiah McKenzie has been the kick returner all year. Tony Brown is one of our best, if not the best special teamer that we have outside of the kickers. So it'll be interesting to see what happens whenever some details come out about this. Um, we'll mention it in a video. You know, it's, again, got to be something serious. So um, I'm interested to see what continues to happen with this. Not having Tony Brown is going to be a problem. We're going to see Josh Downs returning the ball just like we did Saturday. I would assume he's going to stay as the returner. He's been on the depth chart as the second returner. You know, Dallas Flowers was up there. And then he got hurt in week two. So it's been Isaiah McKenzie, then Josh Downs. Now it's going to be Josh Downs. Maybe they'll try to go in a different direction so that you don't have Josh Downs having some extra injury risk. But for the time being, I would expect Josh Downs is going to be our returner. And I'm good with that. He's a shifty guy. He's quick. You know, he's he's basically Isaiah McKenzie, but better at everything. So I expect that we'll be all right from that aspect. But not having Tony Brown on the field is going to be tough. So special teams is going to have some adjustments to make. And people are going to have to figure it out on that end, right? And you look at what we have, the other roster moves, other guys that are going to be, you know, trying to take place on the special teams unit. We have Tyler Goodson getting signed to the 53-man roster. So there's a chance that we're either running with four running backs or maybe Zach Moss is going to be out a little longer than we expect or that we hope. But we also have, you know, Jonathan Taylor, very possible, very probable that he's coming back this week from everything I've seen and heard so far. And we haven't even started practice, but I'm hearing JT, real good chance to come back this week. Then you have Trey Sermon. Then you have Tyler Goodson now signed to the 53-man roster. Then the other moves that were made, guys that were signed to the practice squad, defensive end, Zach Mc. Cloud, wide receiver, Jawan Winfrey, a name that we've heard plenty. He's a guy that I expect probably going to come in, end up taking some special teams reps. You know, it's a role that he was in before, probably just go right back to it. And then wide receiver, Jaden Mickens. And for these guys to come on, we had to release offensive guard, Lewis Kidd. So those are the roster moves that we're making, you know, shifting some things around. A lot of this is just practice squad and uh you know trying to figure out who's going to be on special teams you know it's not the stuff that a lot of people talk about but it's stuff that makes a difference special teams makes a difference the Steelers might not put any points on the board on Saturday if not for their special teams so we're going to need to figure some stuff out going into this Sunday against the Falcons can't have special teams being the reason we lose games so if more things start to happen more roster moves happen if we find out what happened I'll definitely let you guys know we have a video coming out tomorrow about the playoffs and we're going to be talking about the playoffs where we sit in the conference in the division all that so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you get notified when that video comes out we're also going to be talking about the defensive line and a little bit of history that could be made so again subscribe have those notifications on so you get notified when these videos come out we have content every single day on this channel but of course i appreciate you stopping by for another video and as always take care of yourself take care of each other 
and go Colts.